Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of XCOM Long War Season 1. We're about to touch down for an alien abduction mission, Operation Gaping Fall. We've got two gunners with us, two rocketeers, uh, we're going to try for some alien captures this time, so uh, let's see if we can get in there and uh, bring some live ones home. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Okay, uh, standard plan. We're going to move up, keep to the uh, the hard cover where possible, um, clearing the left hand side, and we're going to send someone over on the right hand side just to make sure we don't get blanked. So moving up with uh, Slattery first of all, I think. Let's uh, let's moving. go wide. Okay. Now it doesn't look like we can quite make it into cover there, so I might throw a battle scanner out just for eyes on. Sweeping. Okay, so we've got floaters on this map. That's potentially going to be good for captures. Just the three of them. So let's. Let's get Rossetti forward. Good, that's not quite close enough for them, and we will steady work from there. Let's bring uh, bring everyone else up. Bouchard, but we could get a capture with Bouchard. Moving to yeah, position. Let's bring, uh, bring Bouchard up into that cover over there. No idea where those things are going to go when they eventually see us. Um, Dubstein, you can come across. You can be our side scout. And that's fine. And we could go further out. That seems quite reasonable. Already there. Drum, you can get that moving out. Cover. Gibson, you've got a great move. Let's uh, On the move. get you to that cover. And Roche. Where are we going to put you? Let's put you in the as well. Ooh, and a Squiddy and a Thin Man. I didn't spot them, first of all. Uh, that sounded like a muton somewhere in the distance. Alright. I didn't bring a sniper on this map, did I? No. Can anyone see it all? Alright, well, your move or fire, so we will leave you for the moment. We'll try and trigger it with, uh, with slattery. Let's head on up, and then we will aim to get into cover somewhere. I'm on it, Commander. Eyes on target. Okay. One good triggered. Nice. They got me flanked! I'm saying you can't quite see from where you are. Let's move you across to here. Getting out. Oh, you still can't see. And um, we'll wait for the moment before we decide what to do with you. We sure can't quite get close enough to uh, take a shot. But we can get slattery into cover at least. So let's um, let's start being a little bit sensible. Aye, aye, Commander. Alright, we can see that final one, that's good. Because he could take a pew pew shot. Rush could move up and take a pew shot or two. Shogun can run and gun across to that one, but that's gonna trigger this thin man and squiddy. Walk forwards, blast that one for free. Will do. And then potentially get out of there. X ray spot. Alright, that's triggered the final group, that's fine. Oh, nice, and they're, they're moving into the last position. Where is. Oh, those things still can't see. Must be a very odd angle. Alright, well, 
Let's, uh, let's do what we intended to do. Bang. And those are notes. So let's get over here behind cover. Got it. So rush. That's 47 on that one. Or we could move you forwards a little bit this hard cover. Um, no, let's get you across this soft cover. Shut up. At least. I think that's uh, that's quite reasonable. I'm on the move. Take a shot of that thing. Oh, that's unlucky. Adjusting sights. Gives him 61% on that guy. That's uh all right, let's take that one. Nice. If we can prep him for a capture, that'd be uh, that'd be ideal. Location confirmed. Fifty percent chance to just obliterate it. Let's uh, see what we've got with everyone else first. Right, Roche. Take that shot. Nope. Okay, Rossetti. 84%, that's, that's really good. Okay, it's not... Not killed it, killed it. That might kill it. 80%. Flashing target. Only really one damage, but it's uh, it's damaged it significantly, and um, yeah, you fucking get down for now. Okay, we knew that thing was going to come closer. Is it going to get a horrible shot on us? Oh. And you're launching. Please land somewhere close to Bouchard. Ah, oh, curses. Oh, you're reasonably close. Woo! Wow. Okay, right. Let's see what we can do. 59%. Dub Zane. Start to be taking a shot at this. Okay, let's, uh, let's start at the back. Rosetti, who can you see? You see that one and that one. I think we'll move you closer to this guy and uh, take a pop shot. We get you to there. That's so a blank. Bang. Okay. Shohan. That guy on over might be able to see you. Uh, so let's let's move Slattery up a little. Heading there now. Yep. Just to trigger the Overwatch and get it done. That was close. Although we could have suppressed him with the uh, Dub Zane, I think. And from there, 79%. He's down. Okay, how are we going to do this? We could run and gun in and take a shot, but then it'll just completely destroy it. Um, we can step forwards and potentially do a capture. So let's see if we can get some shots on it. Uh, maybe with a pistol? Yeah, if we run and gun to here, laser pistol it. 
Going in for the kill. Location confirmed. Come on. Oh. No. About to start keeping score. Well, I guess we won't be bringing that one home. Good job, good job with your damage. Bad job with them, um, with the capture. All right, well let's um, let's hurry forwards and see if we can get in a position to capture this one. On the move. Fifty-three percent. That's all right. Nah, no, that's a shame. Target still up. Ooh, you can see that guy all the way in the distance. Well, we've not triggered them yet, so let's not worry about them but just now. Oh, he's, he's actually beyond uh, sight range anyway. Alright. Suppress. X-ray, locked down. Bring everyone across. Get some more suppression in this party. Good to go. Maybe give some get shot to go. Fifty-six percent. Do a little bit of damage. Yeah. Oh wow, that's perfect. Don't run. Don't run. Do not run. You're not in danger. Don't run. He's gone on Overwatch, and these guys have triggered. X-rays coming in from the sides. Okay, so we are going to try for the capture and uh, start dealing with uh, these wasps. How close do we need to get? Can we get close enough? Oh, we can get close enough, but we're going to be a bit exposed if we do. Oh, we'll go to there. So, once again, with Slattery. mute on there. Maybe if we just run... Let's see, we can't see him. If we just run to here, which on the we'll give the overwatch. I'm all right. We'll decide what to do with them in a moment. Bouchard, we'll bring you up to... Yeah. On the move. Try for the stun. Fifty-four percent. Bring a thin man home. Oh, curses. Target is not disabled. Let's not take any chances. No need to hide. So we've still got two more attempts. Not sure how we're gonna do this. Is that close enough for it might be close enough for Close encounter shot. So Solid let's copy. Open up a little bit. Nope, not laser pistol. Potentially does a damage as a hell of a lot. We'll leave that for the moment. Slattery. You can see that one and that one. Okay, good. No one panicked from that. That's even better. Rosetti, you're miles away. Let's run you up. Posizione confermata. And uh, how are we going to manage this? Are we going to step Draman across into cover here and then suppress him? I think that might be the best idea. Yes, I copy. And we can still see it from here. So suppression. Or we could suppress that guy. Press this guy. He's not going anywhere. Gibson needs to reload. Or Gibson can get a shredder rocket all the way to the back. That's not quite the distance we want. Let's move Gibson up. 
And we will steady weapon and we'll probably get a better rocket out next turn. So this is pressed. Let's get a laser pistol on it. And try to it. Okay, it's a little weapon bit of damage. Can't engage. And it was close enough, okay. Um, so we could reload, we could flash it. Go on over with the shotgun. Go on over watch with the shotgun. Roche, what's your chance to hit? 57, that's not good. 23 with a pistol. Close enough to do anything better. We could run you up and Let's move you in as a. Yeah, chef. No, I can see the one in the background as well. Whoa. That one might end up. Uh, Blanking booze shot. Oh no, no, they're just taking a shot at us. That's alright, we don't mind that. Okay. Oh hey, Mr. Mudon. And friend. Look at that. Shredder rocket does four damage, potentially. That's gonna be pretty perfect. Firing shredder rocket. That guy's uh, prepped for some very, very painful stuff. If we move up here, we can attempt to capture on this guy. Let's uh, see if we can get another laser pistol shot on him. Fifty-one percent. We could move right up next to him and uh, and get a definite hit. So many good choices. Alright, well we have the flashbang in case this goes horribly wrong, uh, so we can flash the guy at the back. And it only does 3 damage unless it crits. A little bit closer. Please don't crit. Oh, we got very lucky with that crit. Okay. I'm rolling. Trying for another capture. When I say another capture, I mean one capture. Fifty-four percent. Bring him home. Ah! Oh, God, that's frustrating. All right, we need to get you in a position where you can start contributing again. From the back here, Let's you'll still be able to see next out. turn. So, do we kill this one and try for the back one? Or do we suppress him again? I think we're going to suppress him again. And then kill the back Russian one. In Cover me while we not. Definitely there, we're not going to get the flank on that guy. I don't think it has a running gun, but we will be close enough to uh, take two shots. So if we go to here, we can see them both. Heading to that location. Hello, guy! Hello, other guy. And let's just intimidate the hell out of him. Overwatch. Bring the Zeti up. Don't go anywhere. No! Bit in the water here. We nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. Operation Gaping Fall. We were hoping for a capture on that one. Um, then we tried. We really did try. 
Um, but at least uh, no one got injured, so there is that. And I think we got two promotions out of that. The aliens better get it together, or we're gonna mop the floor with them. Yeah, yeah. Right, so Slattery's been promoted to Corporal. I think Slattery was going to get Executioner next. Yeah, we are Executioner right there. Which is then going to lead into uh, Packmaster and uh, Hit and Run and uh, Keat and uh, all all of the awesome. Alright, Draman. Draman doing exceptionally well. I think that's Rapid Fire coming along. Yes. going to turn uh, Draman into a bit of a beast. Five floater corpses, the man corpse, muton corpse, and some meld. It's not bad. And 80 bucks, because we always like money. Remember, we will be watching. Let's uh, check. Ah, hang on, that's what I was going to check. Uh, yeah, they're repairing, that one's repairing. That's a shame from trying to stop that abduction mission. Uh, and I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay, Rollin. Thanks for the update. All right. Two days for advanced body armor, three days for the council report. Ooh, we're on the 29th. Uh, that means we need to be scanning for exalt. Yes, we're going to scan today. Uh, Intel scan, there we go. Intel scan complete. Positive We're heading ID to China. Cell locations. All right, who are we sending in? Run and gun and sprint, 16 plus 8. Oh my god, Double Heen is so awesome for this. But no, we're not going to send Double Heen in because we want Double Heen for the extraction. Uh, sprinter opportunist coat is a good option. But again, we don't want coat for it. What's your status? Over. We're getting a lot of garbage on the line. You're not coming in clearly. And Zang's a potential option, especially with the uh, the lone wolf bit. But I think. I wonder if Coat's going to get the free battle scanner. You should file that request directly with Dr. Vaughn. I'll do Gong. Although I'm um, not sure she'll be very open Run and gun and uh, close combat specialist are, are quite nice. Close encounters will be good for uh, popping blast once and then uh, carry on. Um, and 14 plus 4 is quite reasonable. Let's uh, switch this loadout around. We are going to give you some armor, so it's not going to be... 14 plus 4, it's going to be 14 plus 3, and a flashbang, because, yeah, flashbangs. Oh, we could give you one of the arc throwers. Flashbang's probably going to be better, until we uh, see what the actual mission itself is going to be. Off you go! Covert operative deployed to disrupt Exalt Cell in China. Right, and as... The council report is uh, coming up. We may as well deploy that uh, first satellite. We could do it over China because China's uh, getting quite scaredy. All right, let's have a look at these. One engineer per month, one scientist per month, one engineer per month, one engineer per month. And plus two gunners for gunners and rocketeers. It's a bit late for that. Plus 5% research bonus for each lab adjacency, that's always good. Do bonus aim for ships and mechs. So for bonus cash from alien corpse and wreck sales. I think we'll go for the extra research bonus. Um, conveniently, it's also going to give us a fair bit of money. Um, and the other ones are coming along in a moment anyway, so this is uh, just because we can. 
78 bucks extra per month and plus one end. I'm not here for your entertainment, in case you've forgotten. We have a war on our hands. Hmm. Yeah, all the extra engineer ones are the ones that we want. Right. Satellite launched. India is launched. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. So that's a, a direct result for the uh, for the labs, um, for what it's worth. Hey, we've got a bit of money, so we could start excavating a little bit further. We want to save some money for the um, advanced body armor when it comes along. Um, so we'll just actually wait until we've got there, um, the research done. And then we'll order some armor, and then uh, it'll all be good. Three laser rifles for a new recruit. Not now. Uh, after the exalt mission, we might do that. Okay, right. Assign new research. Carapace armor, Kestrel armor, mechanized unit defense project. These are all good things. We're going to be building some of that. Ooh. And we're going to be building some of that. Okay. Next up, we could interrogate the Muton, which we're probably going to do eventually, but for now, I'm going to get alien computers and I'm going to push towards getting those uh, floaters that we've got uh, interrogated. I think that's going to be the right way to go. Um, we could push for the gold sweat for me, but for now I think this is more important. Uh, two days for scouts, two days for fighters, three days for raiders. We will eventually uh, run through those very quickly to improve our rare game a bit. But for now, alien computers. Let's see how many floaters we have actually. Uh, da -da -da -da. But yeah, we've, we've got eight floater captives. We nearly got another one on that last mission. It'd be good to start uh, giving them out to council members. Ooh, no, we don't want to carry on scanning, we want to build stuff. Right, let's have a quick look at these. Right. Carapace armor, plus one mobility, plus five hit points. Kestrel armor has grapple. It's, it's nice. But I don't think it's worth it compared to the carapace armor. Uh, so we're going to build a ton of carapace armor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That will do very nicely. Which leaves us 244 bucks. What do we want to build with that? We can get some UFO tracking boosts. It's potentially worth. In fact, it's worth having a couple on the, on hand at any one time anyway. Okay, it's worth having a couple more on hand because they're quite cheap. And that leaves us with 196 bucks. Let us carry on excavating. Hello? One, two, yeah. We've only got another 160 bucks that we need to spend on that, so... We could just get it done and uh, and then not worry about it. Twenty meld for two scientists. Yes. Viva la France. Incoming transmission. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. Now that's a, a hell of a lot of missions that uh, that have happened this uh, this month. Um, one satellite lost. Uh, that was over North America. That was a shame. And six UFOs have escaped. Um, but overall, I think we've done very well. And obviously, we're about to move into Asia and. Uh, we will be start in touch, securing Commander. that. Contact detected. And so we start August with a fighter. Who are we going to send up? Let's send up Gomez. We have 
Eyes on the bandit. I'm ready for the range. Strike range. Need. Come on, take it out. Lost. Oh. All right, well. Contact detected. Let's uh, send up Spencer and get a second kill. Hopefully, without taking any damage. Don't let it get away. Bangs out. Approaching target now. Oh, it took a little bit of damage, but we did shoot it down. Uh, ignore it just for a moment and uh, see how we're doing. That's only going to be seven days. You didn't get promotion from it, uh, Spencer, but uh, certainly with the with two kills under your belt, that's uh, that's going to be better. What's your chance to hit? Seventy six percent, and the captain seventy nine percent. So it is uh, worth us getting you another kill, and then we'll start pushing more on the captain. And of course, you start getting up to major level, eighty five percent. We can start being a bit more careful. Okay, UFO crash site. Give me a moment and I will put a team together. Okay, and here we are. We have two gunners with us uh, for added suppression. Um, we're taking two arc throwers, even though we don't have uh, anyone with uh, repair. Aleph is our explosive support, um, backed up with Bell, who also has uh, one of the other arc throwers. And uh, Freaky is uh, leading the way as our medic commander with air watching over everyone. It's a pretty well balanced squad because it's a crash. Um, we might be able to get a capture out of it. We've only got two attempts, but we've got a lot of flashbangs and a lot of explosives just in case things go south. Let's get in there. Touching down. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. The downed UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. If we can secure the crash site, we should be able to prevent any civilian casualties. Okay, join me next time everyone for Operation Deadly Flight. I'll see you soon.